given that the parameters were specifically to make recommendations with you know for how to make the country safer mm -hmm. based on what happened and leading up to that attack i mean i have to assume that you're you're aware as i am and as everybody who runs in these circles of of the 911 truth movement well i am aware of uh, many people who have written and they're on the lecture circuit who say that the planes did not strike the buildings, these were not commercial airliners, these were missiles. World Trade Center 7 was, was a demolition job. This was job. a demolition job. All I can say is I've not seen any credible support for that. I think people who have an intention to uh, look objectively at the truth, and, and we did not uh, deign to go into those facts uh, as, as, as a commission. Um, but there are websites, and I can get them to you, um, most notably from Popular Mechanics, which did a number of issues yeah, I saw on, that, yeah. on the myths of 9-11. So the so notion that, that uh, airplane fuel cannot melt steel. Okay, well, that's true. That kind of a fire doesn't melt steel, but it bends it. It weakens it. And so the support that was necessary to hold up the, the, the World Trade uh, Center uh, wasn't there. It, uh, it, it was degraded and the building collapsed. Anybody suggesting that? Who was there to plant these charges? Was it Al-Qaeda? Or this, well, I think that what or, or this saying, blood libel that it was Cheney and Bush? Now, I do not believe it. I cannot believe it. I will not believe it. Uh, that... Uh, it seems to me that that probably the a number of actions that Cheney and Bush took, which uh, shredded their credibility with many uh, segments of the American public, opposing the commission, uh, conflating uh, uh, the Iraqis with 9-11 as a justification for the Iraq invasion. One of the things that we uh, knocked down uh, in the 9-11 Commission report and even before that in a staff report and hearing that there was no connection between Al-Qaeda and Saddam as regards the 9-11 attacks. Is Dick Cheney out there right now trying to protect his own ass or is he just a believer? You know, it seems to me there's a parallel, Mark, between the revisionists who popped up after Nixon's resignation who said he was hounded out of office, there wasn't any evidence. The fact that the, there's a historical record for anyone who cares to review it about Watergate is important. Similarly, what, one of the most astounding things I've seen recently is Dick Cheney's uh, remark, that uh, casually given, that there was no evidence that Iraq was involved in the 9-11 attacks. Now, for seven years, uh, the administration had touted this conflation of... He championed it. He created it. ...of 9-11 of and Iraq, and given as an important reason why we attacked Iraq without explicitly saying so. At one point, 70% of the American public, by polling, believed that Iraq was responsible for 9-11.